fucking impossibility, they maintain it will or must happen in some other not humanly way. That impossible seeming something doesn't have to be wholly intervention either. Kierkegaard writes about a young lover pining after a princess. And if that young lover were a knight of faith, he might realize the absurdity of their union, but believes it possible somehow, perhaps through the will of some divine force, nonetheless. And divine force, from my perspective, not so much from Kierkegaard's, we could be talking about all kinds of inscrutable stuff. God, luck, chance, destiny, the free market, who knows. A knight of infinite resignation, on the other hand, resigns himself to loneliness. No princess, no hope, no one to drive with him to Ikea on Sundays. Not gonna happen. He doesn't abandon the thought of their love, though. Resignation is not surrender. He is not, Kierkegaard writes, afraid to let his love steal in upon his most secret and hidden thoughts, to let it twine itself in countless coils around every ligament of Inscrutable Inscrutable. Inscrutable.